The Berenstein Bears' New Kitten by Stan, Jan, and Mike Berenstein. One day, Brother Bear was hunting bullfrogs. He was about to catch a big one when he heard a tiny meow, meow. It was a kitten. The kitten was trying to climb up the muddy bank of the pond. The kitten was so covered with mud that you couldn't tell what color it was. Someone else was hunting bullfrogs. What you got there? Asked Too Tall from the bushes. Too Tall worried Brother. He was head of the schoolyard gang. Never mind what I got, said Brother. Hey, said Too Tall. A kitten, a poor little shivering kitten. How about that? Thought Brother. Even Too Tall has a soft spot in his heart for kittens. You better take it home to your mother, said Too Tall. Here, take it home in this. With that, he gave Brother his hat. Brother was surprised. Brother ran home with the kitten in Too Tall's hat. Hmm, said Mama Bear. You go look for bullfrogs, and you bring home this little kitten. May we keep it, Mama? Asked Sister Bear. May we, please? Never mind about that, said Mama. This kitten needs cleaning up. She turned to Papa Bear for help. Papa, she said, we need some warm water, some cotton balls, and wash your eggs. Mama went to work. She washed the mud off. She cleaned the kitten's eyes. She cleaned its paws. Pretty soon, it began to look like a kitten, not just a muddy ball of fur. Little lady, the family's dog, came sniffing around. Papa said, "Mama, would you please take little lady?" "Yes, my dear," said Papa. "I think the kitten needs a name." He took a quick look at the kitten's bottom. "She's a she," he said. So I guess we better give her a girl's name. That made the cub's ears perk up. You don't name a kitten if you're not going to keep her. Well, said sister, she's gray. Now that she was clean and dried and combed, she was a beautiful gray. Gray thought sister. Let's call her Gracie. Fine with me, said Mama. Now about keeping her. Have you forgotten that we have a dog? Though she's a kitten now, she'll soon be a cat. Dogs and cats don't always get along. Your mama's right," said Papa. "Let's introduce them right away and find out." Little lady was sniffing around again. Papa picked her up. He held her close to Gracie. Little lady snarled. "Uh oh," thought brother. "They're not going to get along." Little lady showed her teeth, but Gracie was not frightened. She reached out and popped little lady on the nose with her tiny sharp claws. Little lady ran away. "Hmm," said Papa. I think they're going to get along just fine. What about Gracie and Goldie, our goldfish? Asked brother. I wouldn't worry," said Papa. Little lady loves Goldie. She'll protect Goldie. Gracie was now all clean, dry, and combed. Her fur was soft and fluffy. She was very beautiful. So I guess we've got a new kitten," said Mama. "Yippee!" cried brother and sister. They took Gracie to the vet to be checked. Little lady went with them. Her tail was between her legs. She looked unhappy. The vet checked Gracie from head to toe. She's a fine, healthy kitten," said the vet. "But I do have a prescription for little lady." He wrote something on a piece of paper. Here is what it said: "Prescription: Little lady might be jealous for a few days, so give her at least twenty extra hugs a day." Right then and there, little lady got her first big hug of the day. Meow, meow. Said Gracie.